Hello everyone. Today I am going to make another typography t-shirt design. Now for this design I am going to use this font. This is called Milky Nice. And this is the text I am going to use in this video. And here I am using a color palette to make this design. This is a vintage color. So I take an image from Google and then I make these colors from it. Then I added these colors in my source panel. So this is just to save some times here. Now for this kind of designs, I wanted to make a vintage looking design but with a, some custom typography effect. So this is just the text. I break them and align them. Now I'm going to I'm going to object transform and then share just to apply some rotation on it like this minus 10 degree angle in vertical so this is how it is looking right now press ok now for this one here I am going to I am going to create some color variation on my this image and for that I need to keep one base color for my design so for this this is the base of my design I am going to keep it something like this this kind of bluish or green type color so now this is the base for me here I am going to group them Control G now I want to just create a offset path of my this text so go to object path and then offset path yes maybe a bit bigger offset path something like this round so that is good 30 pixel click ok now without clicking anywhere else go to pathfinder unite so this becomes a unite shape right now ctrl x to cut ctrl v to paste it back now i want to move it slightly in the right something like this maybe so let's change the color so that we can see this perfectly just like this so this is the offset path that we just create and I bring that a bit down and right now I am selecting my main green text shape again object path then offset, offset path same I am going to keep it maybe 20% 20 pixel this time click ok now I am going to unite them again ok so I have three layer here one my original design one is this green offset path one is this orange or red offset path so i'm going to press ctrl x to cut the offset path now i am selecting my this orange version then press ctrl f to paste in front now my green is pasted in front of my that real that original orange one then i'm pressing shift and clicking here now my this offset path green offset path and orange offset path is selected i am going to press i am holding my alt and then click here on this minus front it is going to make this effect like this cut out effect so that is good for me i am expanding the appearance because whenever we are applying an effect we need to expand it so this is how it is looking right now now for this one here as you can see this is a single group that this part is another group so that is good now for this one here i am going to apply some effect here so i am going to double click so that i can isolate the group now this orange color will not be affected for whatever i am going to do here now i am going to click select another color from here like maybe this lighter orange color lighter yellow or whatever so I'm going to take my pencil tool here and with my pencil tool activated I am going to just draw some random lines like this just like this then I am selecting my this text shape and that color press shift M for shape builder now I'm pressing alt to erase the area that I don't want like that one something like here okay that part is good so this is a custom effect you can see it is looking like this now maybe for this one here this over text I'm going to select maybe this color okay maybe this darker blue color then again press N for the 
pencil tool i am going to draw some random lines here just like this then select this over text and the random shape press shift m then erase it is going to erase that part and whatever part you don't know you don't need just erase it or then we can simply select these parts if we need to do some adjustment like this darker color is not looking very good so let's try something kind of this red or maybe this one so that is it is looking like that now i want to create do that another time one more time so i'm selecting this orange color from here pressing n for my pencil tool now again i am going to try okay not like that a little wavy line here just to make a part here in the bottom part then again select this part press shift m or click to erase the part that you don't want so as you can see this is how it is looking right now if i double click it will be isolated the group and then i am selecting the offset path that you created i'm going to make that a darker shade of blue something like this so this kind of designs looks good on black so let's see how it is going to look on black just like this ctrl x ctrl b to paste in back okay so as you can see if i select this one i can maybe make it a little lighter blue just like that so that is good now for this area here we can create some more effect and effect by effect i mean like this area and this part of the text let's okay let's double click to isolate the layer again i am going to take my pencil tool again okay before that don't select anything just press n for pencil tool then you can simply select any color like this lighter color i am just carefully going to draw this on the bottom part of my that fade text just like this then select the fade text press shift m for shape builder and minus it is that part now that is good again pressing n for the pencil tool i am going to draw that same kind of effect here okay let's do it at once like with this sorry guys this needs to be a perfect one just like this now this time i am selecting this part and this part the fear and over text and our custom shape press shift them for shape builder erase it so if you are if any area is overlapping like this we can erase that part too so i think this is good now for this this kind of text effect we need to add some highlights here like okay if i just isolate them again i am selecting them all then i am deselecting my this original blue text group now whatever is selected if we want want to see press ctrl x it is going to cut them so whatever is cut right now that is the selected part let's press ctrl z to bring them back make them group ctrl g now these highlights are one group right now so that is good and now i am going to add some highlights here now for highlights making some highlights you can simply create a ellipse brush like this maybe complete white and then go to brush new brush art brush okay and again okay so this is going to create a brush here okay before that i need to lock this black rectangle that you took in the background because that is causing some problem here so for this kind of designs you can simply go select your brush tool then when this one is selected draw something like this it is going to add those highlights here with your mouse just like this whatever way you want i am going to use my graphic tablet here because this is just easier to draw this kind of things now if you don't have a graphic tablet that's completely fine you can just use your mouse i'm going to set my brush for this now that is good i think 
okay i don't need any fill for my this one only stroke okay that is a bit smaller i want to make it a bit bigger little bit more something like this now this is just up to you how you want to do it or not this is not important but this just gives a little highlights on the text and that is really cool something like this maybe okay so this is the main design part is done if you want to practice this you can just post it in our group we will see how it is looking and of course we can give you a comment okay guys so there this is the final design for my this one this is just going to take some time for me to add some highlights okay so as you can see this is the final position of my this design now this is not completely my idea i saw a design like this so that's why i wanted to share with you guys how to make this kind of designs now if you like this kind of work you can just do a lots of design with this lots of color variation you can make you can take any text you want that's just up to you so that's it guys thank you for watching this i hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel and you will get lots of videos like this thank you everyone see you in the next video guys have a great time